Hi friends. In this short video, I will share the latest rules and requirements for Thailand visa on arrival. I will try to cover everything that matters, but after watching this video, if you still have any questions or doubts, please feel free to leave a comment below. I will respond as soon as possible. Let's begin. After landing at a Thai international airport, where visa on arrival facility is available, you need to proceed to the visa and immigration area. Once there, you will find visa on arrival application forms, kept on stands like these. The forms are available free of cost. It is a one-page form, and is easy to fill up. If you need to see what details are required to be written in the form, I have posted another video on that. You will see the link to that video in the description below. Let us now see the Thailand visa on arrival rules. Citizens of India, and other eligible countries, can enter Thailand with a visa issued on arrival, after paying the applicable fee, and producing the required documents. A visa issued on arrival is valid for 15 days, including the dates of arrival and departure. For example, if you arrive on the 10th of a month, you must leave Thailand by the 24th of that month. The validity of a visa issued on arrival, cannot be extended. Visa on arrival fee is 2000 Thai baht, and has to be paid in cash, in Thai currency only. If you do not have Thai currency with you, you can get it from one of the money exchange counters located in the immigration area. If you do not want to wait for the visa in a long queue, you can opt for the priority or fast track service, in which case you have to pay an extra 200 baht. The total visa fee at the priority counter, is 2200 baht. For the priority service, just take your application form to the priority counter, which is located near the regular counter. Let us now see which documents are required for a visa on arrival. Apart from a duly filled in application form, you will need the following. Your passport with a minimum remaining validity of 30 days, and at least two blank pages. A passport size color photo, 4 cm by 6 cm, with a white background. The visa officials will staple your photo to the form. The next thing you need is a return or onward journey air ticket, for a travel date within 15 days, including the day of arrival. A plan to leave Thailand by crossing a land border is not accepted. You need to show proof of funds, which should be a convertible currency, equal to or more than 10,000 baht per person, and 20,000 baht per family. Proof of funds requirement is after paying the visa fee. Including the visa fee, you need to have at least 12,000 baht per person. When traveling as a family, carry 2,000 baht per person to pay for the fee, in addition to the 20,000 baht required to show as proof of funds. You need to have confirmed hotel reservations for your entire stay in Thailand. The reservations must be verifiable. Air tickets, and hotel bookings are to be carried in printed form. And lastly, they may ask for your boarding card of the flight in which you arrived. Do not lose your boarding card. The purpose of your visit must be tourism only. Any type of employment in Thailand is not allowed on tourist visa. Your application form, photo, other documents, and funds are first seen at the verification counters. After a successful verification, you proceed to the visa counter, where the fee is to be paid. Once your passport is stamped with the visa, you have to go to the immigration counter. At the immigration counter, they will click your picture, capture your fingerprints, and put an immigration stamp on your passport. This stamp will show the date, by which you must leave Thailand. After immigration, you can collect your bags, pass through customs, and then exit the airport. It is a simple process, and you will get your visa, if you meet all the requirements. I hope I have been able to share all the information you needed. However, for any other details or feedback, please write a comment below, and I will reply with the needful. Consider giving a thumbs up, if you like the video, and subscribe for more such videos in the future. Many thanks for watching.